Hey guys, it's been a while. Today, I'll be cooking. First time using the Thermomix that we got, me and Cassie got. Cassie's used it before, I haven't used it. But tonight, I decided on making the mushroom risotto. And I already looked at the, um, the recipe and already bought the ingredients ahead of time. So we've got the mushrooms, the shallots, parmesan, the rice. And of course we had, we didn't want to buy more rice. We had rosé left over, we didn't use that and the olive oil. Okay, let's start up the machine and work it out from here. Okay, so we'll start with the um, shallots. So 30 grams of shallots to mix it all. So I'll take the lid off. So I got the shallots, nice and fresh. Next, you'll click next on the machine. And it goes into the measurement section. Oh yeah, no, actually. 30 grams. I'm guessing this is one. How do you measure it? Does it go in? Does it tell you? No. Alright, so one shallot is 30 grams. So I put on one stem, doesn't really need to measure it. Break the end up and I put it in. Put it in next. We put the lid back on. The lid on top. Next. And three seconds. Speed. What is it? Five. Five. Speed at five. Oh, done. Next step. Done. Click next. Scrape down size of spatula. Mixing bowl with spatula. Oh, wow. Oh, cut up. <laughs> it diced it pretty nicely. It smells good. <laughs> it smells good already. So I've got uh, the next step is scrape down size. So I'm just going to clean up the bowl. This is what it looks like up close. Scrape down the sides. Let's clean it up a bit. Get it the excess. Um, so Cassie reckons that it's not really chopped finely enough because I hesitated for a bit. So I can see there's still big pieces. So I'm gonna go back one step and and chop it up a bit more. Let's put the lid back on first. And go back. And turn to five. Have a look. Yep, so scrape down the sides. Still looks. Yeah, still. So I, think, I think it went too far this time. There's still big pieces. I don't think it's supposed to be finely cut. But my eyes are dying. From the onion. Should do that trick how you're supposed to chew gum. But. Let's scrape it down. So the sides have been scraped down. Go to the next step. Add 40 grams of butter. As so it's got already got the measurements on there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll tell you there. So I'll grab the butter. So I grab the butter. Uh, so, excuse me. <laughs> Add a little bit first. I think about this much should be okay. That's five grams. Okay, okay. I'm a bit far out. Add a little bit more. Right, halfway there, 20 grams. Oh, not really, 15 grams. No. I'll use the scraper. Okay. 30 grams. Not there, almost there. I think this should be it. Add a little bit more just for the flavor, you know. Already tastes better than butter. 40 grams of butter added. Put this back up, put it back in the fridge. Forget what's next. Next, 40 grams of extra olive oil. 
olive oil. There you see that. What's cool about the Thermomix is like it weighs everything in one machine. So you have to use a lot of stuff. Like Five grams. Spread it out a bit. Twenty, almost there. Twenty-five. Thirty. Let's do it more. Yep, forty. That's forty grams. Forty grams of oil added. Next step, put the lid back on. Turn speed to one. So it's gonna saute it for three minutes. Okay. And speed one. We're we'll back in three minutes, guys. See it steaming up a bit. It's at 100. It's reaching 120 degrees. A minute 30 left. Awesome. So it's done sauteing. Click next. Insert butterfly this. Gonna take the lid off. It smells good. It smells nice and buttery. I can see why, because me and Cassie were wondering why. Because usually at the restaurant, I use like cream in my risottos and pastas. But in this recipe, there was no cream. But yeah, it's quite saucy. It's got all the butter and all the oil, I guess. So let's add the, the butterfly whisk into the machine. the barrio rice okay so I got the rice just put some standard sun rice with the resealable top because I didn't think we we'll would use it all rip it open. apparently this makes about four servings according to the recipe add, it. add the rice Over. Oh well, doesn't matter. 10 grams over. Doesn't matter. Cooking. That's what you do. Cheat styles. Wait, what? Well, because I'll just do that. What's next? Without measuring cup. So you put the lid on without the measuring cup. Put the cup off. Lid on. Turn speed to 5. 1.5. I put that on there so like it doesn't fling stuff out, but it's still like it's still open. So saute saute in the risotto's done. Click next. Add some wine time, but this time the recipe says dry white wine. We're gonna use rosé instead because we have some left over. From Cassie's party and nights. Oops, open the lid. <laughs> Alright, so far, this is good. Yeah, yeah, that's okay, that's okay. Press 10, get back to zero. Ooh, bit over, doesn't matter, more flavour. Put the wine away. What's next? Without measuring cup, the lid again. And 1.5 for two minutes. Sweet. Almost there. Obviously. Let's go down the sides. Hey, Kathy. Hi. I'll be cooking for her tonight. She's a bit scared. I have work tomorrow. I don't want food poisoning. She'll be all right. The risotto looks nice though, like the consistency it has already. It's similar to what we do at the restaurant. I uh, did at the restaurant. Maybe restaurant. Okay. Well, 
what's next? What was that? As you guys can see, the risotto is not fully cooked through, which is good. Probably still got to add a few more ingredients. Okay, this next step. One tablespoon of vegetable paste. Vegetable stock paste. I don't have vegetable stock paste. I'm using Vegeta. 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 I don't know. Too much Dragon Ball. Vegeta. I'm gonna use this. This is what I use at the restaurant as well. Just add that seasoning. Let's grab a spoon out. Pull one I'm really winging. I'm really winging this right now. <laughs> Should be alright. Put it in one first. I reckon one's fine for that. Yeah, one. I don't know what type of spoon this is. This type of spoon. I try to put it. We'll figure it out. Hope it tastes nice. We can season it more later. Put that back up. Next. 250 grams of mushrooms. So here's some magic. Cassie already cut for me. I was supposed to cut it all by myself, but I'll probably cut myself. So 250 grams of sliced mushrooms. We decided on regular mushrooms for this. Let's add it in. All washed already as well. Thanks, Cass. He's magical. Oh yeah, pretty good estimate by her how much we needed. <laughs> I'm gonna just check it over. Bit over. I love mushrooms. Yeah, we love mushrooms. And next, next, seven and, two, seven and twenty grams of water. Uh, I'm just gonna use a cup. <laughs> I got. We got a filter here at home as well. Okay, let's add the water. Okay, I need more than one cup. Actually, yeah, about two. This is 4.45 grams of water. It's a little bit more to reach 7.20. Six, almost there. 15, 10, 20. Let's press next. Scrape all of, especially again to loosen the rice. So I was just gonna mix it all up. Cool. So let's mix it all up. That's a bit hard to mix with this thing and holding shallow end. <laughs> so I'm gonna mix it up with the rice in the bottom. Good. I'll push it back down. Mix it, mixing all done. Let's click the next step. Place simmering baskets instead of measuring cups to mix and bowl it. So I was doing. Like, yeah, I put it back on top. Yeah. Just what I've been doing ahead of time. Make sure lid secure. Next, one point five or thirteen minutes. So, it's thirteen minutes until it's all done. I think this is the last part of the re recipe. Hopefully it turns out alright. Looks <laughs> like it's all done cooking. Next. Oops, what's next? Oh, so you just put it onto a plate now. So, I'm gonna just grab a plate. Bowl. As you can see, it's quite runny. It's not what I'm used to. I, don't if it, I guess if I let it sit, it looks more like congee to me. So I'm not sure. I guess this is also a style of risotto, a type, it's more wet than your typical risotto. More paella-ish, since it's so wet. So, so I got some balls, I'll take out the skinny thing first. Let's it up. 
the I think it was the, the butterfly stirrer. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's beginning to set now, so it's less runny as it was, less runny as it was before. Put that in the Best thing about the Thermix, it comes out like that. I'm just, I'm just pulled in the one set for me. Nice and creamy. One set for Cassie. So if we didn't put the butter in, it would have been vegan because legit there's nothing else in there. So next time when my little cousin comes up, I'll make it vegan for her. Oops. Smells good though. As you can see, there's quite a bit left over. Let's put this back in there. Cool. And the cheese is all added. As the consistency looks alright. And all done. It's time for taste tests. Okay. Okay, let's try it out. Let's grab some more cheese. Just in case I need some extra cheese. Because like, I didn't season it at all. Yeah, I saw like no salt, pepper, and all that. Just the Vegeta. Vegeta. Risotto looks like it's cooked quite well as well. The consistency is good. Like before, when it was still in the, the Thermomix, it looked too. Quite running, but it's set and it's good. Hot. Actually, the risotto is cooked quite well. Oh wow, it's quite amazing. The risotto is cooked. Texture is good. Oh no, I forgot to take a photo. Oh whoops. Right. <laughs> I'll take a photo now. Put cheese on top and make a photo. <laughs> Put Instagram. Yeah, make it look so pretty. <laughs> Oopsies. What else we get? Instagram shot. Excuse me, guys. Low, low. A few more. One from the top. Put right, a spoon out. Okay, back to the taste test. Sorry about that. But yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah, I think just that one, like one spoon of the Vegeta, made it taste. The seasoning is perfect. For me, I reckon this is alright. Mix it with the cheese. Let's try it with the cheese. We'll mix it. In. Yeah, the consistency is actually the same as like when we do it at the restaurant. I mean, the Thermomix surprised me quite well. It's tasting. Yeah, it's really tasty actually. Good job, Tian. It'll be really good. Oh. The mushrooms are good. Well, actually, you can't really mess up cooking mushrooms. Oh, quite surprised. I'll show you a close, more close up look at it. As you can see, yeah. sticks, but not sticks too much. Good test, good way. Oh, really surprised, guys. So, first time using the Thermomix, doing the mushroom risotto. Quite really, really pleased with the results. I can cook. Can't wait to do more recipes. Anyone on the machine? Cassie's gonna be happy. She's gonna be so excited that I can cook for her now. Till next time guys, I'll finish this off. Thermomix, good stuff.